Howdy there. The casual observer, this is a door. And to the rest of us, we all know that's because it is a door. This door here, of course, obviously belongs to our 1953 GMC. We affectionately call Jimmy. Originally, our plan was to more or less leave this color scheme on it, like most, most of the rest of the truck. Unfortunately, since that was most of the rest of the truck, it dawned on us that it wouldn't look as cool as it could. In fact, the whole truck was like this. We wouldn't have blown it apart and found the rust that we found and, and have already repaired. But since enough of the truck was weird shades of primer, poorly done at that, we decided to go ahead and make it one color. Long story short, cab is uh, pretty close to being uh, able to shoot. We think that one pot of that uh, spray um, well, more than enough to shoot inside and outside of the cab with a cup, uh, at least one coat, if not two. So, we want to set up the doors so that they're ready to go. It is time now to get on to uh, addressing the doors. Now, over the years, different people have put different mirror configurations on these doors. And as a result, we got a lot of different holes and bulges and issues with these doors. That, we'd like to go ahead and fill in an address. Now, easy way to do it, take the fiber schmutz, put it on there, call it a day. But you run your hand over it and there's kind of a bulge right there. Weird bulges going on here, they need to be tapped down and uh, metal worked and body worked. <laughs>
And the other issue both doors have is right here hiding underneath a trim piece, it rotted. Both doors are this way. So we need to get in here and fix these rusted out areas. Okay, there are three distinct rotted out areas on this bottom of this door. Section here, this section here, and this section here. There's pitting along here. And really this section here you can almost say is, is this here. And then there's this here. And then there's this here. I think I'm just going to cut it inside there and weld it. And if it gets welded to the door skins, so be it. repaired. If you noticed I broke it up into several parts where I just replaced the rusted out areas and the reason why I only did the instead of replacing the whole strip along here I did it one at a time and I did the primarily damaged areas with leaving the good strips of metal between those areas is because I wanted to keep as much material in here, original material in here, but also so that as I cut out a stretch, um, it resisted springing out or clamping in, springing in. Either way would have made this bottom lip real weird and it'd mean a lot more body and metal working to get it to fit well on the truck. That was the reason why I did it that way. Some forethought on, on my part, I know, don't get used to it, but it does happen on occasion. Now, of course, it's just good practice whenever you weld something like that to schmutz it with the uh, short fiber body filler uh, to help seal it. Um, and then I sanded it down to make it nice and smooth, exposing some of the stuff that uh, I worked on. All that said, a piece of, um, trim fits down here and is going to hide pretty much all this work but it needed to be done to preserve the bottom of the door there are drain holes here underneath uh, the bend so and those are open and free and clear so this should now be good for another 80 years which, I mean, at the end of the day, that's kind of what we're looking for, is to preserve this uh, uh, old piece of steel for uh, future generations. And that's what we're after when we're doing restorations like this. So, I hope you enjoy this video. 
Uh, if you want to support us here at the Pit Stop Ranch, hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, uh, please subscribe. We really appreciate it. And I'll show, see you in the next uh, video. Have a fantastic day.